Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Casey Michelle, your favorite breathwork facilitator here on YouTube. And I share a bunch of tips, tricks, exercises, information about breathing, about regulating your nervous system and prioritizing your peace basically before anything else because your nervous system is affected by anything else. So yeah, in today's video, I really want to go through the bandhas or the body locks that I utilize in my breathwork practice. I get a ton of questions about them. So we're kind of getting back to the basics here. I really just want you to have the fundamentals to implement into your own practice um, and share how they've helped me with mine. Before we get started, I need you to thumbs it up. Thumbs up the video, man and subscribe and comment down below if you've ever used the body locks or bandhas in your own practice and how that has felt for you. What, your, what has your experience been like with bandhas? I will say that there's a lot that I could cover, but this is gonna be more of a digestible video just to kind of, again, get back to the basics, really simplify it. So by the end of this video, you have some practices that you can take away and use from your day to day. Anyway, let's get into it. I personally use four main bandhas or body locks and what they are if you're like okay but what is a banda they are essentially kind of like energy centers almost like brain centers a lot of them are connected to the brain in certain ways or stimulate kind of a higher energy and my like kind of summary of why to use them or what they do my personal definition is just kind of lifting your energy up and out and higher i think a lot of times we operate from a kind of lower body lower being lower energy state you know, like food, sex, sleep, kind of these like lower energy things <laughs> that sedate and seduce and stimulate and all that stuff. When we kind of move energy up and higher and lift, we kind of detach from a lot of our like needs and desires and we kind of find this peaceful space where desire doesn't exist. I'm a big believer that desire and peace just can't coexist. So let's get into it. Four main bandhas that I implement into my practice are the third eye, the chin slash tongue. We're going to mold those together there. Uh, Uddiyana Bandha or the stomach vacuum and the root Bandha uh, or the pelvic floor lift, perineal muscle lift. So let's get into each one of those real quick just so you kind of have an idea of what they look like. What does that mean? Starting with the base, your root, your pelvic floor, this alone could be such a video and maybe it will be soon. Uh, there's so many things spiritually and just scientifically that working with your perineal muscle and lifting your pelvic floor can do for your body and for your overall being. Um, but to summarize it and make it easy here, lifting your pelvic floor, that muscle we use to hold your pee, you're lifting that. Essentially kind of sends a signal up the spine into the brain, actually connected to the pineal gland. It kind of just opens up this access to a deeper part of yourself. You can think about it like the center line channel that we're kind of accessing when we do the bandhas. So we're like, Starting with the root, we're lifting the pelvic floor. It's kind of like igniting things up. So maybe you practice that here now, lifting your pelvic floor, that muscle we use to hold pee, lift it on up. Then the core lock or the Uddiyana Bandha. There's also kind of the opposite of the Uddiyana Bandha of locking the abs out. I should have mentioned that all of the locks are applied at the top of the breath. Some are applied at the bottom, the Uddiyana Bandha and the third eye. But what I'm speaking about right now, when we're lifting the pelvic floor, we're pushing the abs out as the lock. On the exhale, you're releasing that lock, pulling the stomach back and up for that Uddiyana Bandha to stimulate the vagus nerve. I can't do it while I'm talking, <laughs> but you get it. You've probably seen me do it, but you're essentially just really, I don't know if you were ever a kid and you were just like playing around, but I used to do that. Just like, let me suck my belly in and like see how I can do. Um, it's kind of that. Honestly, I could not tell you how I figured it out. One day I literally looked down and I was doing it. I like kept visualizing that I was doing it and didn't know that I was doing it. So I looked down and I was like, oh my God. So yeah, like I said, on the inhales, it's a lock pushing the abs out. On the exhales, Uddiyana Bandha is, is back and up. And again, this stimulates the vagus nerve, really just coming into safety in our body. Moving up the body to the chin and the mouth area in general. I like to have the chin slightly tucked. It's not necessarily you have to, but I just find that this keeps this whole line pretty more straight. Sometimes we tend to have like a little arch in our neck. So I like to just tuck the chin and have just a flat spine. And we're pushing the tongue to the roof of the mouth. So this stimulates the pituitary gland, which stimulates the pineal gland. I know that seems crazy. Like how's the tongue on top of my mouth stimulating my brain or any pineal or pituitary glands, but it is. Um, so pushing your tongue as flat as you can against the top of your mouth. So really behind the teeth, 
I can't show you the inside of my mouth, but hopefully you're practicing it on your end, looking crazy too. Your chin is tucked, belly's out, root is lifted, pushing the tongue up. Finally, you might have seen me look kind of crazy in some videos, but looking up to the third eye, middle of the forehead, they're kind of all seeing, all knowing center, if you will. This is just kind of where like the visions, the messages, the downloads, if you will, kind of come into space. Really stimulating again, that kind of inner high, that inner DMT that exists in our body. Yeah, essentially that is the bandhas. That is how I practice them. Like I said, on the top of the breath is when I implement all of them. I lift the root, push the belly out, chin is tucked, tongue is pushed to the roof of the mouth, and I'm looking to the third eye. So really just sending energy up and out. So like you can do them one at a time to get used to it. It takes a minute to get used to pushing your stomach up, pushing your stomach out and lifting the pelvic floor. That one was the hardest one for me. So if it is for you, it's okay. It's practice. And then on the exhale, you can release all of them. Some people do the Uddiyana Bandha, the stomach vacuum, like I said, and remain looking at the third eye. So I'll just demonstrate one breath with the bandha so you can kind of get an idea, sort of, of what this may look like. Always exhaling out first, making space. Full breath in. Did that help? Hopefully. Might make a separate video just really diving into the Uddiyana Bandha stomach vacuum itself uh, because that seems to be the one that obviously gets the most attention. It looks kind of crazy. It feels so good. It's so medicinal. It's like such a quick reset to do throughout the day. I'll just suck my stomach in and be like, calm down. But yeah, if you guys have additional questions about this, please let me know. This was just kind of to get the basics down for you to start practicing with. Please leave all questions in the comments down below though. I'm here for it. If this video helped you at all, again, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please show love because I love you. And yeah, guys, that's it from me. I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Peace.